I'm so tap tap and welcome to Let's Play Grow 1. Um, this was actually released after Grow 3, so this is kind of the first game, but most people are familiar with Grow 3, because I think it, it seemed to be the first one that got popular on other Flash sites. But uh, there's a cute little message you can go ahead and read here. Um, basically, he didn't finish, like, he didn't polish Grow versions 2 and 1, so he released those a lot later than the original, or than Grow 3. And Grow 1 is actually a lot different from the other ones. Um, it's a little self-deprecating here. Um, but uh, it's still a really fun game. It's just way different from the other ones. So, like, in normal Grow games, like you should have saw in the mini uh, Grow of the, you know, the Christmas tree one, you know, you have a certain... You can pick all of your selections at once, and it's sort of the order you go in. In this one... Um, it's a more standard toy, flash toy structure. Like, I've seen other games do this, where you have just sort of pick one of two things, and you know, it's sort of just a branching path, where it's grow is less linear than that, usually. So, grow one is less about winning, and just, it's more about these little scenes, and like, you get these sort of unique characters by uh, getting all of these endings. It's a little like Pokemon, like the different- Oh no, they melted! Oh, th they're fine. Kind of. But yeah, so there's all these cute little characters. I- I could have sworn there was like a bestiary sort of thing that listed all of the different forms, but maybe that's a different one. Um, but yeah, unlike the other Grow games, like there is a winning condition to this one, and there's also an alternate ending. Um, and I'll be sure to show you those. I'm not sure I'll show you every single different form, but every ending is kind of valid, even if it isn't the maximum one. Because what you're really seeing is all the different forms. Splat. <laughs> so for this one, it's less about winning, in my opinion. Some of them do end early, but it's just fun to see all the different things it turns into. But since there's so many different solutions, I went and just got uh, a guide for this one. Because I didn't want to show absolutely everything on stream, because I'll forget. I will just... Um, oh! Right. I actually played another game like this a long time ago on YouTube called Mitoza. You know, based off of mitosis. And it's a lot like this where, you know, you have this weird creature. You have this egg in Mitoza, actually. Oh, there we go. And, um, you just sort of try to grow the egg. Oh, you can skip in this one. That's not very common for these games, actually. Actually, maybe we could just... If we can skip, actually, maybe we should just show absolutely everything. I'll try to continue from the left, then. And just show all of these off. I think we have exhausted the... The bear face, then. So let's wake you up. Yeah, let's just try to show off everything, I guess. Because, I mean, the ending in this one is still good, but it's really about showing off all the different forms, in my opinion, than, you know, just winning. <laughs> I love the crazy logic of a lot of these critters. So, like, I think we've now exhausted all of the different... Um... See, this isn't too hard. Um... It's just sort of a branching tree structure. So now we've exhausted all of the different sun elements. So we can do all the moon stuff. So let's hit it with the hammer. Boop. Splat. It's the little dude. I'm not sure if this guy has a name, but he's very common. In oh, there's only one solution for this one. He's very common in the grow stuff, and he'll often be seen as, you know, a primary facilitator of the grow unit's actions. Alright, this one didn't have any options, so... I really like that skip. I... I love very intricate animations and stuff, but... 
if an animation is going to be repeated a lot, you really need to be able to sort of skip to see only the new stuff. So like, this is actually great. I wasn't initially planning on showing off every form, but because I can skip, I mean, why not? Because it, it only takes a few seconds to get back to where we were. And as long as we just start doing everything on the left and like, you know, eliminate the tree as we go on. Boon! <laughs> um, it's pretty easy to keep track of what we're doing here. It's a dragon now. And the eye maze guy on um, just lots of really creative creatures. I think we have exhausted, yeah. We've gone through all of the nest stuff. So none of the endings are nest. That's fine. I like the sort of dual interpretations of that thing as a seed or as an egg. So now it's a seed. Lots of flour. Let's give it some milk. Oh, is that a giant? It's a giant udder plant now. That's that's what happens if you water your plants with milk. Oops. Hold on. I don't want to skip the animations. Well, not the first time anyway. Let's give you some water, little buddy. As you can see, a lot of these end shorter than the uh, actual ending here. Let's give it some fish food, I think. Oh no! What did you do? And now it's a planet. Just a floating little planet here. That's fine. Let's put some nice little trees on it. And we have made the land grow fertile. Oops. We actually finished it! <laughs> Put a little battery, a couple batteries in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the actual ending. Yep, congratulations. Smiley face. And these little dudes. Is there a word for these dudes? Like a name? Because we'll be seeing a lot of them. They have the little weird creatures that just happen to show up with a lot of the endings. Is there anything else? This little guy. It's the growth three thing! Like I said, this was actually completed, or like, repolished and stuff, after grow three. So, that's why there's some... We'll, we'll just watch the whole ending sequence here. There's some other stuff we need to see. And I'll try to end on this underground. There's, this, there's an alternate ending. Let me just spoil myself over here. All right. I'm gonna try to show everything off before that. I think that's all the different stuff we can see. Oh, have we seen that before? Man, there's a lot of different things. Oh, it's one of those weird fish. I forget to remember the name of that fish. There's lots of stuff that goes by. All right, are we done? Because I do need to show some other stuff game. I think that's about it. All right. All right, pottery. Have we shown everything? Because that didn't have, oh, all right. And now it's space with things. All right, now you go down. You just pour some down. If you want things to grow downward, you just gotta pour some down juice on them. That's how it works. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid the alternate ending here, so we can show that last. That's right, Parker. Spoilers. This one isn't really... This is the one grow game that you can't really spoil. Because... You know, every... They're all endings, you know, there's not just one ending. Oh, and it's also very common for there to be an alternate secret ending in the more recent grows. What? Just, just two of them. Helicopter! 
Oh no, they're dying. Oh no. The poor bottom ones. Oh, they're fine. Grow has some very interesting logic to it. Very interesting. Okay. I think we've seen all the down and spread out. So let's go down, straight down. Oh no! Aww. And now it's this thing. This thing has a couple of grow games to its own, I think. Um, smash it! Splat! <laughs> That's the end. I like Parker. Get down! Get down! No! No! Down! Um, I like when things like you expect something to happen. It's like, nope! You just killed it. You ruined it. And now it's a slime king. With slime king babies. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one's cute. The innings are always cute. But I mean, this is a pretty good one. <laughs> the anvil thing is pretty good though. A lot of humors about. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Subverting expectations. So sometimes it's fun to have just a shortcut. You screwed up one. And a lot of the secret ones, you know, they're pretty intricate, like this here. So it's always worth seeing the secret ones, in my opinion. A lot of the times there'll be a UFO ending, sort of like Silent Hill. But, uh, not in this one. The sort of being a whack-a-mole machine in the top left there. Yeah, in the final state of pretty much any Grow game, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different stuff going on, so it's always fun to watch after the end. In fact, this ending is more like a, the ending of a more traditional Grow game. Traditional Grow game, but yeah. So yeah, this is Grow 1.0, and I'm pretty sure this was actually released after a whole bunch of different Grow games, and I'm not sure if there was ever a 1.0, like a less polished 1.0 that got public, but this is the one I'm familiar with. But yeah, that's, I do believe that is all of the endings. Oh, I guess, hmm. I figured since it was an alternate, like listed as a secret ending, it would, uh, hit the max, but I guess it doesn't. But yeah, that is Grow 1.0.